Big Dog here. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a Euro Truck 2 skinning tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be doing truck and trailer. Um, basically, I'm doing this because um, when I was learning how to skin, or still am learning how to skin, when I first started learning how to do my own skins, it was really hard to find a tutorial that was down to earth and really like easy to understand. So I thought I'd make one um, in really simple terms, uh, basically the way I learned as well. And I'm going to link everything that I mentioned below in the description. All the programs that you're going to need, everything. And it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. Hopefully, we'll get some good done. So, what you're going to need is, first off, you're going to need your templates uh, for the trucks, for the trucks and trailers. So, you download those from here, SCS Software. Uh, there we go, complete ETS2 template bank. Again, I'll link this um, in the description. Uh, you're going to need those. It's, it also comes with the um, yeah, the Velton DLC template here, and I believe there's an MAN one on here as well, and in this same area, but um, in the same uh, forum. Uh, if not, and I find it elsewhere, again, I'll download it. I'll um, link it in there. <clears throat> so, um, right, first off, you're going to need that. You need to save it somewhere. I've saved it here. There we go. In my mods, music, and miscellaneous file under skin creation, you can save it any way you want. Uh, let's get rid of that. Right, next thing you need is an editor. So, paint might not cut it. You're going to need something like paint.net or Photoshop. I use paint.net, I find it's really it's fairly simple to use. There we go. That's what it looks like. You've got your colors, you've got your layers. We'll get back to this bit in a minute because this bit is important for what we're going to do. All your tools just up here and all your adjustments and stuff there. Not going to need that too much except for one critical phase in a minute. And then once you've created created it again, you're going to need Mod Studio 2, which is this one here. When it loads up. I should have had it loaded up already, but this is me we're talking about. I don't do things normally. There we go. Right, so yeah, Mod Studio 2. Here it is. And we'll be getting into that again later on when we need it. And again, I'll link that in the description below. So, you've downloaded everything. Here we go. This is how you make a skin. First things first, you're going to need air to resize the, the canvas. So, for a truck, you're going to want it to be 4096 by 4096. So, I'll do that now. A canvas resize of 4096 by 4096. Uh, there we go. Cool. 4096 by 4096. And go. Cool. All right. So that's for the trailer. Uh, sorry, for the truck. Uh, trailer is going to be slightly different, but again, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, next thing you need to do is create three more layers. So you've already got background. One, two, three more. Layer two, we'll call that template. There we go. Template. Okay. Layer three, we'll call color. And last one we will call logo because that's where all the logo is going to go. Right, so here we go. Let's done that. And then what we do is we out, we click out background because we're not going to need that much. Color is going to be a base color. We'll get that into a second though. Uh, truck, I'm going to use the MAN TGX because it's the one I've used most recently to um, skim. So I'm going to open up ETS2 profile um, or profile folder even. Truck templates, and there we go, MAN TGX, and we're going to do the big one, G, the GX cab. So that opens up this file here. Uh, we copy, and then we paste that into the template layer. So put it on template, I can't like their template, and then click paste. There she blows. That's our MAN in its most pure, raw form. But what I normally do is I'll then do color, and I'll bring template above color. Don't ask me why I do it, but I do. <laughs> uh, but we'll do that in a second. So base color, we're going to use white. It's nice and simple. Uh, so that one there, we need it white. There we go. Oh, come on, behave. This, there we go. Right, so, and then we'll use the fill tool and go like that. There we go. Then if we bring template above color, we can see what we're doing. But uh, then when we actually make adjustments, we have it in logo, in the logo folder, uh, lo folder logo layer. Uh, and I'm just going to do something really basic on this one, just so it's nice and quick. Uh, you can do whatever you want, any design you want. Um, it's all good. 
and yeah, I'll put in a couple of uh, links to my World of Trucks profile, so you can see my um, MAN TGX skin that I've done, in, and the Beyonson trailer that I've done as well. And you can see, yeah, what all the all the good stuff. So that's done the import the um, the hard part. Now it's the creative part, which is more fun. So we're going to click on text. And I'm just going to put in big dog or just something really generic. And I will put it in. We'll put one on the front and one on each side. And then again, just to really basically show you guys how to do it. So if we zoom right in on just above the radio grill here or the logo grill here, uh, go into text. We're going to have the font I normally use wood or I use for my um, for my TBD transport is Absolute Empire. That one there really cool font I really love it for it for this purpose and I use RGB 0084 for the nice lovely rich dark blue that I use there we go cool right so enter there we'll just put in blah 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 there we go blah 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 there we go that's the name of our company blah 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 all right so move that into the center so it's nice and centralized like that cool now we zoom out a bit and we're going to do the same thing on the two sides of the cab itself. And just click there and go blah, blah, blah. Like that. We'll line it up nicely with that the um, bit of trim here. There we go. And we'll do it again just there. B-L-A-H, B-L-A-H. BLAH. Cool. So we have a rudimentary design. It's not. It's not perfect. It's you know. It's nothing special. It's just uh, to show you how to do it basically. So then what we're going to do is um, say for example this is now finished. This is our. You know, this is the truck. This is how you want it to look. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the template back below color, and then we're going to click in backgrounds, and that's all done. So there we go. Nice. So what we do is we're going to save it as two. We're going to save it two ways. We're going to save it as a project first. There we go. Right. So I'll leave it in TBD Transport and I'll say uh, tutorial. Right. So we're going to save it as a Paint.net uh, thing, so we can make any adjustments as and when we need to, if there's anything wrong with it. And it would have first spelled tutorial right. <laughs> uh, right. There we go. So tutorial Paint.net PDN save. Then we're going to save it again as a DDS. That this bit is important. Uh, because it's the DDS file that we're going to turn into the um, into the mod, basically. You can see there I've already got the um, two project versions of my Veldson curtain side trailer, and and ideas and everything there for logos and stuff that I've used. Uh, right, so again, tutorial, director or surface DDS. So we'll save. It's going to come with this box here. This bit's important as well. These are the settings that normally work um, for me perfectly well. So just, yeah. Uh, if you want to pause the video, great. By all means, pause it, screenshot it, so you've got the right things. DXT5 is very important. Error diffusion tick, keep that ticked. Keep that as that's grayed out anyway. Perceptual not uniform, uh, and then have these two click, ticked uh, by cubic there. That use gamma correction ticked. Okay. Then we're going to flatten it. So we're done with Paint.net for now. We're going to minus that down. Get rid of that, we don't need it. Right, so we go into Mod Studio 2. This is where this comes in. Uh, we're going to go into New Project for Euro Truck 2. There we go. And add template. It's a truck skin. So we'll say simple truck skin. Right, so the truck skin itself is obviously, like I said, it's going to be the man, M A N T G X. Click that bit, that box again, it'll bring up the new one. So 2020 again. There we go. And then over here, it's only for the GX cab. Because it's the only one, only template we've used. Uh, right, so manifest. This bit is important. The mod name. So this is what it's going to be um, on your mod screen. So we'll just say for now tutorial skin. Uh, mod all for myself. TBD the big dog mod version 1.0. Now this bit is DLC dependency. So basically, do you need any DLC for this skin to work? No, you don't because it was a free a free update uh, the categories truck and uh, paint job so basically in the filters of the mods you can filter out everything you want to find it quicker uh, compatible versions I always leave this blank because then it'll be universally uh, ready it won't be just for 1.47 or whatever if you want it to be what for 1.48 just put in 1.48 uh, eight point uh, star 
and then that'll be all the 1.48 variants. But like I say, keep it blank and it'll be universal. Uh, right, so icon, I always use the default. It's just, yeah, of, unless, you want to use, unless you really want to use a thumbnail, you can. This is basically the picture that'll be on the mod list. Uh, we go to text. No, this just isn't really essential. And apart from that, it's internal name, so the computer, the game knows what it's what it's looking for. Um, again, I'll just put in tutorial. There we go, and I'll copy that in just here and over here. Right, so basic internal name. Like I say, we need to put that in. The skin name we said it was tutorial skin. So again, copy that, paste them in here, like so. Right, price. Unfortunately, it can't be free. So we'll say it's going to cost us a pound, a euro, a whatever. Unlock at level zero. And then base color. We always want these on one. There we go. So it's white. And you can change, and you can lock it. You can change the color if you want to. It's up to you. Um, I've, I've, obviously made it, I've obviously made it white. So, yeah, we're going to keep it that way. Uh, image. Right, this is where we add in the... Uh, the skin that we made, the DDS. So if we go into here, there it is, tutorial, Bosch. There it goes. Uh, icon, again, we'll use default. Metallic options and mask options. If you want metallic, then fine, enable it. I've, yeah, I don't normally do it, but again, it's up to you. If you want to make it look metallic, cool. So uh, now that's all done, we can export. We can make it into a mod. So export the mod, export it. And we'll save it as tutorial.scs. Uh, there we go, tutorial. There we go, tutorial. And it's already an SCS file, so we'll save it like that. And give it a couple of seconds. So there we go, export successful. So we'll go back into the folder and did, 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 like that, TBD transport. And there she is, tutorial. All right, so the SCS is that one there, obviously. Then we're going to copy that into the documents, as you would with any other mod. Uh, there we go, Yuri Truck 2, mod, bada bing bada bum, paste it. There is tutorial. Right, so now we fire up um, Yuri Truck 2. And I would, yeah, activate the mod as you normally would do. And then give it a go, give it a test. Okay, so uh, we're back. We've now loaded up the game. And um, I've accidentally loaded up the wrong game. I've loaded up my YouTube save. So basically, I'm not good enough yet for the big camp. So what we'll do is, um, instead of going back out of the game, coming back in again, I'll just go into Content Browser, Trucks. There we go. MEN's already there. And it's, it's the GX cab. So we're going to go to Paint Job. And we're going to go up a bit. And down a bit. There it is. There's the one I've made. The my one that I use on my um yeah and my YouTube and my non YouTube save, but this is the one we just made tutorial skin. There it is. Blah 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 blah, and that's how it's done. Easy as that. It's as literally as easy as that. So yeah, there we go. That's how you do a truck. And right, so we've done a truck. Now let's do a trailer. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same process that we just did there, but. Um, like I said, the canvas size is different, and so what we'll do is we'll go back into paint.net, we'll fire up a new one, and it's going to be 1496 uh, by 2048. 2048, there we go. So, and that's what it's, and then like I said, it's the exact same process again. Uh, add the extra layers in, do your design. Uh, but when it comes to the mod studio, what we do is go back home, uh, new project, Euro Truck, mod manifest, nope, ah, add template even, and it'll be trailer skin, and then find the right find the right trailer basically. So it's as simple as that. Um, it's not as hard as it needs to be as some pe as some of these tutorials need need to make it. Um, it's yeah, it's like I say, it's easy as that. So there we go. So that being that, uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, hope you, you know, get and hope you unleash your creativity into Euro Truck 2 and American Truck as well, if you've got it. And yeah, so that's all good. Thank you very much, and see you all, see you all soon. Bye bye.